Hey guys, jumping into Heavy Metal Never Dies. This concert should be super cool, and again, I'm shocked at the time. Uh, two hours and six minutes, um, Love Bites plays, and I've never seen a band that played that long, ever. Um, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe just a tad over with an encore. Um, Love Bites uh, loves their fans, uh, and they deliver the goods. All right, so let's jump into this. And as always, I do it uh, one song at a time. Um, that way it makes for shorter videos that people actually might watch. Because most people don't watch more than two, three, four minutes. Again, so lame that Gibson uh, sued Dean. Uh, how can they possibly uh, have won that? Um, it's a V. You know, it, you know, I guess I really want one of her signature Vs. But never going to get one now, thanks to Gibson. So... Yeah, 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 yeah
there it is right there. What a beautiful guitar. Uh, you know, the thing about that whole lawsuit thing was, I remember way back um, in the late 70s, uh, into the early 80s, when I was you know, looking at guitars because I wanted to learn to play, uh, the Flying V body on the Dean, um, it was, they were, you know, way back then they were out. But look at this guitar, guys. Uh, with the V body, you have the Dean, uh, that big Dean headstock. It's just a classic. You know, I just don't understand Gibson. Um, it's just greed again. I've never had a good, really a good experience with Gibson. Um, I've had, I've had at least at least ten Gibsons that I bought, and I've only kept two of them because the others were just unplayable. Um, the necks were bad, or there were finished flaws. And I'm not knocking Gibson. I love the Les Paul. Um, but I just think the older Gibsons are, are just much better quality. Um, they don't care now. How can you spend $2,000 and get a guitar that has like a big blemish on the front or a bad neck or, a bad, you know, like a terrible setup? Um, so I am so glad uh, Miyako has this Dean. Um, you know, uh, somebody told me they think that you could actually still custom order them. Um, but I don't know. And if you could, it'd probably be huge, huge money. But this band, this band is perfection in my book. Um, you just can't find anything bad, you know. Um, it's just incredible. I mean, everything from the intro even is just incredible. So guys, if you could have either Miyako's Flying V, her Dean V, or Midori's ESP, which guitar would you take? I would take Miyako's Flying V, uh, hands down, because um, obviously they're not making them now. Um, but what a super cool guitar. But I love Midori's ESP. Um, as soon as I can, I want to get another one. Um, and I'm sure that any of the Dean uh, Vs 
are probably like huge money on Reverb or eBay now. And I did have uh, Michael Schenker, you know, the the, the D&B um, that had the, uh, the black and white. Um, man, I wish I would have kept that. Um, probably would have been worth a little bit of cash, but just sucks, guys. You know, greed. Um, and Gibson is just so greedy, sadly. I mean, now, I mean, I bought guitars that, for $1,500 uh, from Gibson, and they don't even come with a hard case. Now it's just like a soft case. So uh, a lot of them don't come with a case. Paul Reed Smith do that. You don't even get a case if you spend 2000 bucks. It's just crazy. Um, but yeah, this, this band, guys, best in the world. Absolute best heavy metal band out there. Uh, by a long shot, there's nobody um, that has this much talent um, that is this versatile in the fact that everything they all can play. It's just, it's just insane. Um, I love it. So I was really excited to start this this morning. So let's continue. Enough of my big mouth. can see them um, when they're uh, at the end they're picking and they have their pick and they're just uh, doing a circle on the strings um, with you know fast fret fingers super cool guys all right so that's part one uh, every day gonna do another part tons of other stuff um, I hope your week started out great guys and I'll see you soon